Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite looks to accommodate a bold lip color. Bold lip focus looks can be quite challenging. They can easily get put off balance and they can look like you're wearing a lot of makeup just because it's not working. So today I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks and techniques to make this a fail-proof look for you all. So before we get into the makeup, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. For the base, you can use anything you'd like, whatever combo you're loving the most right now, or feel free to alter the coverage level as well. Today I'm going to be using my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch in the shade B30. I'm using this because it matches me pretty closely and I'm not going to be able to use it anymore shortly once it gets too dark for me. And I'm just going to blend that out with my MAC, what is this, 170 brush. See, it's already getting a little too dark for me, sadly. My skin is so angry with me <laughs> this period around. It's rude, whatever. Now for my concealer, I'm going to be using my Lancome All Over Concealer in the shade 025, Bisque Warm. This is my go-to look when I wear a bold lip and I've tried it with so many different base combinations to the most natural light coverage to my fullest coverage foundations and it always, always works. So do whatever you prefer. I wanted a medium to full finish today. And just because I wanna perfect these a little bit more, I'm just gonna take some of my NARS concealer and I'm just gonna let those chill for a second, kind of dry down before I blend them out. And to set my under eyes, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder in Translucent. I actually really liked how this looked the other day, so I've been subbing for this one as my under eye powder. It's pretty good. And I'm going to use this on my face as well in a bit. Then I'm just gonna blend these out by tapping in that area with my foundation brush. It's not uncommon for me to forget a spot, so I'm being extra cautious. Sometimes I just leave a big concealer smudge all day. <laughs> My bad. Now it's time to move on to bronzer and contour, which I believe is one of the most important steps in this whole look, because I find if you don't have a good bronzed base or something to balance out the lip, your lip stands off your face way too much and that's all that anyone sees, but you wanna balance it out so that's not the only thing people are concentrating on. You still want it to enhance your beauty. So I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Amber Suede and Amber. I'm just going to use Amber on my cheekbones right here in the hollows. Especially for fall looks, I like to add the contour. I think it just fits the fall aesthetic as well. And then I'm gonna go right on top of that with Amber Suede. And I'm going to carry that onto my forehead, a little on my nose if that's what you like, and just a little bit on my chin. Because I like the more natural placements, you don't have to do that if you don't like it. And then I'm going to start blending what's on my forehead first. And this is my Moda Fan Brush. And I'm just hitting the areas where I just have that bronzer down first because I don't want to carry this amber shade everywhere. I want to keep that cool tone right here. And when it comes to this area, I'm going to start blending out by tapping just to keep that placement. And then I'm going to start blending it backwards because I don't want it to carry too much in the center of my face. A little bit is okay, but most of it you want in this area. Now for highlighter, you can use whatever one you like. Today I'm going for the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Liquid Cheek Color in the shade Elegance. This is a highlighting shade. And these are really fun because they're super, super liquidy. So they feel super thin, but they add a gorgeous dewy highlight without feeling wet. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my fingertip. And I like to bring that highlight up in this area too. I think it's just really pretty when the light catches it. It just draws the eye to the eyes and down your face as well. Now for the hardest section, blush. It's really tricky to pick the right blush for a lip focused look. This is what can really offset 
the look and make it look really unbalanced. So I'm going to share with you all of my blushes I reach for when I do a lip focused look. First one is M Cosmetics Pearl Tea. It kind of has a brown, it's kind of a softened brown color, but it has peachy and pink undertones to it. I would say this next one is my number one reached for, for this type of look. It's Matte So Natural from the Glow Play Blushes right here. It's one of those tones that can kind of pull differently depending on the colors you pair it with, but really good one to turn back on. Next is Glossier Dusk, which is a great one for the fall time, especially with those warmer lip colors. It's a bit more saturated, but it still has that kind of softened brown peachy undertones. Now I have some pink versions as well. One of them is Heliotrope from Rose Ink, down over here. This one's fantastic. I'm naming a lot just because I feel like some of you may have these colors already and that would be really handy. Now we have Rare Beauty Hope, which is another great pinky option. Also the Melting Blush from Rare Beauty in the shade Nearly Neutral is awesome as well. Next is NARS Hushed from the Air Whipped Blushes. So you can see, it's this kind of a color story. And the last one I pulled is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in Baroque, which I would describe this one to be like the most neutral blush out of them all. This one is pretty universal to all lip colors, I would say. It's just a very soft kind of tan shade. So whenever I get to the blush step, I swatch the blushes that I think are going to work with the lip color I'm going to be wearing that day. So I do have a couple options in the lip department. I pulled out these three. So the next step I do is I swatch the lip colors next to all of these, and then my eye will kind of gravitate towards the one that works the best. So this is the NARS Power Matte Lipstick in Mogador. So since this one is kind of a rusty color, this one's going to work well with these types of colors, the ones that have a little bit of a brown tinge to them. Pink is going to clash because it has more of an orange undertone. It's not going to work. This next color is Armani Lip Maestro in the shade 531. And this is kind of a dusty rose mauvey shade, which this one's going to pair best with the ones that have pinky undertones. And this M Cosmetics blush as well. I'll sheer it out a little bit so you can see it closer. See, it just works with the pinkier colors. And then the last example I have is Rare Beauty Wise. And this is kind of like a neutrally brown lipstick color. And I would say this lipstick color is kind of unique because you can see that it kind of suits the pinks and the brownie colors. It's kind of like that perfect balanced color because it is a neutral. So hopefully that helps. Now I have to pick which lipstick I wanna wear. <laughs> Give me a sec. I've decided to go with the Armani lip color. So which one does my heart want? Looking at these swatches now, I believe that this lip color looks the best with Heliotrope from Rose Ink. They could all work, but I feel like those ones have a very similar undertone. So I'm gonna go for that. And you guys know, I love to over apply blush, but I'm going to refrain from doing so because I don't want this step to overpower everything. I just want it to complement everything else we have going on. And last step for the base is revisiting my powder. Uh, again, I'm using the Wet n Wild one and I'm just going to use this to set the center of my face. And here is the base all complete. Now I'm just gonna quickly prime my eyes and do my brows off camera, so please enjoy the brow intermission. I'm back, I hope you enjoyed the brow intermission as always. So now I wanted to touch on my favorite eyeshadow palettes for this type of look. So if I'm doing a fall look and I have a warm lipstick in mind, I love reaching for the Patrick Ta palette. I usually create something using these three shades here or a little bit of this one if I want to warm it up even more. I would have used this palette if I went for this NARS option I was talking about earlier. You can see there that they just complement each other beautifully because they're in that warm category. But an easy fallback, this is the foolproof way to achieve a look that's going to suit any lip color under the sun. They're just perfectly neutral palettes. These are my favorites. So we have the M Cosmetics Rodin palette. Perfect neutrals that will suit warm, neutral, and cool lip colors. Same goes for this Kevin O'Coin palette. This is the Contour Eyeshadow Palette in light. 
And my number one favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury The Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. But today I think I'm going to go for the Kevin O'Coy one. I'm just going to take my setting powder with a fluffy brush and I'm going to set my eye primer right under my eyebrow. And I'm setting this just so that we get an easy diffused eye look. It's very, very quick when you do this. With the same brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here in the middle. And this is going to be a super quick, easy eye. I'm putting this in the crease, making sure to diffuse it. This is just going to define our eyes. We're not going to be adding too many details. I just want it to be nice and soft. And with a softer brush or a more flat brush, I have soft on the mind. Um, I'm using my 235 from Smith with that same color. I'm taking a more concentrated amount though. And I'm going to pack this and pat it onto my lid. And with that same brush, I'm just going to tap gently into the darker shade right here. And I'm going to incorporate that. I didn't want this to be too dark. I wanted it to still be soft. I just wanted the lid portion to have extra definition. Now you can use some eyeshadow or you can line your eye if you'd like. I'm just gonna go with a softly diffused eye. And I'm going to take a combination of those two colors with a small pencil brush. And I'm just gonna carry this on the outer corner of my eye going around halfway. And here is the finished eye look. I just quickly did my mascara. I used my Makeup Forever Professional Mascara for a really fluttery look. I always think a lot of lash looks good with a lip focus look, so I may consider adding falsies, but if not, this is still a good amount of lash. <laughs> now let's move on to the star of the show, the lip. And the lip liner I'm going to be using is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade 604 Up and Down Tan. It sounded like I commanded you to do like a little workout move or something. <laughs> 604 Up and Down Tan. Fun to say. And final step, Armani Lip Maestro in the shade 531. That is a gorgeous color. I love that. And here is the finished final makeup look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But this is my favorite way to accommodate a bold lip if I feel like wearing a full face of makeup. I do have a version where it's a bit softer on the rest of the face, but let me know if you'd like to see that as well because I would love to do that for you. But that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope today's video was helpful. And if you found that it was, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. And I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below so feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!